In this video, we're going to look at a specific example of simplifying radical expressions. And so there's quite a lot going on in this problem here we should check out before we jump into it. Basically, at the heart of it, we've got two fractions that we're adding together. So we need to recall our rules of adding fractions. And of course, we see we have square roots, so we need to think about how we simplify and work with square roots. Um, as far as fractions go, when you're adding, you need a common denominator. And right now we don't have a common denominator. So I think what I'll do first is just look at each of these radicals separately. There's probably more than one way to do this. But let's just look at each of these square roots separately and see if we can simplify them. So looking at the first one, I've got the square root of 8 over 25. Now that whole fraction is inside that square root. So if I could, if I could reduce 8 25ths, then I could go ahead and reduce it. But 8 25ths doesn't reduce. So... Uh, that's not going to do me any good. Let's recall a rule that we have for working with square roots, and that is that the square root of a over b is equivalent to the square root of a over the square root of b. I'm going to approach the this problem that way, thinking of this as the square root of 8 over the square root of 25, and then seeing what I can simplify there. Well, the square root of 8, 8 is 4 times 2. And 4 is a perfect square, so I'm going to be able to take that out. And then the square root of 25 is 5, so the denominator came out nice. Now in the numerator, we have this factor of 4 inside the square root. And remember another rule, the square root of a, b equals the square root of a times the square root of b. And some of you are beyond writing this step out, but I'll go ahead and do it just for clarification. So I can rewrite that numerator, the square root of 4 times 2, as the square root of 4 times the square root of 2. And I still have the 5 on top. I'm going to run out of room here, so I'll go this way. Uh, the square root of 4 is 2, so that gives me 2 square roots of 2 over 5. That's just the first part. Square root of 8 25 simplified to 2 square root 2 over 5. Let's go look at the other radical, which is the square root of 10 20th. Now, 10 20th will reduce down to 1 half. So let's go ahead and do that. Now we're going to use our rule and split this up. We have the square root of 1 over the square root of 2. And um, let's see, where do I want to write this? Let's just finish this part over here. Okay, we've got the square root of 1 over the square root of 2. And then we've got to remember to come back and combine it with this. So let me erase these pluses in here so it doesn't look like I'm... Let's make it a little bit... Um, okay, there we go. All right, so now the square root of 1 is 1. And the square root of 2 we can't really simplify. Remember, when you have a square root in your denominator, you want to rationalize the denominator. So I do that by multiplying the top and bottom by square root 2 over square root 2. And that gives me 2, or excuse me, the square root of 2 on top. 1 times the square root of 2 is the square root of 2. And on the bottom, the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is just 2. Okay, so now what we have, if we join this with our other part... We've got 2 square root 2 over 5 from simplifying the first radical plus the square root of 2 over 2 from simplifying the second radical. So now I've got two fractions that I need to add together. And as I said, in order to do that, we need a common denominator. What is the common denominator between 5 and 2? Hopefully you're saying 10. In order to make this 5 a 10, I'm going to have to multiply by 2. And if I multiply the bottom by 2, I have to multiply the top by 2. In the other fraction, to make this 2 a 10, I have to multiply by 5. So if I multiply the bottom by 5, I have to multiply the top by 5. All right, let's go do that. We'll put that up over here. So now, 2 times 2 is 4 square roots of 2 over 2 times 5 is 10 plus square root of 2 times 5 is just 5 square root 2 and 2 times 5 is 10. Now I have this common denominator, so I can add my fractions together. The denominator will be 10, and the numerator will be 4 square root 2 plus 5 square root 2. 
Since these square root 2's are the same, that gives me 9 square root 2. I can combine them like like terms. And that will be my answer, 9 square root 2 over 10. Now I know I'm done. Sometimes with square roots, people have a trouble figuring out when am I done with this. I'm done because I can't reduce it. I can't cancel the 2 and the 10 because the 2's inside the square root and the 10's outside. This isn't really 2. It's the square root of 2. And that's not going to cancel with a 10. I can't... Um, I don't have any square roots in the denominator, so that's good. Uh, I can't reduce the 9 and the 10. There's nothing else to simplify, so I know I'm done. And that would be my final answer. I know my, my path up here is a little sloppy, but hopefully you can follow it. Let's go back and just review what we did. We looked at each of these square roots individually, and we took the square root of 8 over 25, split that apart, simplified the top and bottom. Um, Broke that apart, simplified that, so we came up with 2 square root 2 over 5. And then we took the second one, the second square root, reduced it, simplified it, and then we came up here, rationalized the denominator, and ended up with this. And then we had our two answers, and we needed to get a common denominator to add those together and get our final simplified answer. So there's a lot going on there. What you might want to do is... Um, you know, try this problem by yourself from the beginning, square root of 8 over 25 plus square root of 10 over 20, and then watch the video again, see if you get it right. And sometimes it helps to come back to it maybe 20 minutes from now or 30 minutes or an hour from now and try it again and see if you can get it right. That way you know it's more in your long-term memory than your short-term memory.